Hello friends, so this is our today's MCQ of 50 year old female presents with red subcutaneous violaceous swelling at the periphery of the neck over cervical region. So I will try to highlight the most important points in this MCQ from the last several months. So this swelling is present since several months. Some of the lesions underwent spontaneous healing leaving typical cord like scars. So the lesions were healing with scarring. Infection of the underlying cervical lymph node is present with multiple sinuses and histology revealed caseous necrosis. Now, this is the most important clue we can say and labs reveal CD4 count which is less than 100 cells per cubic mm. So, most likely it is a patient of HIV who is having super added infection with tuberculosis. So, this tuberculosis which is present in the cervical lymph node. If it manifests onto the skin surface in the form of cutaneous tuberculosis, then please remember the diagnosis which you must think about is scrofuloderma. The diagnosis is scrofuloderma and this is how the lesions can be seen over the cervical lymph node sites in these individuals. And please remember the classification of cutaneous tuberculosis is based upon the mode of acquisition. We have exogenous and endogenous and hypersensitivity reaction in the form of tuberculates to MTB bacilli. So in the exogenous, please remember the examples are tuberculosis chancre and tuberculosis varicosa cutis and lupus vulgaris. And in the endogenous form, we have three possibilities. One is scrofuloderma in which the contagious that is surrounding areas will be having MTB bacilli and which will proliferate and they are going to manifest onto the skin surface. The underlying uh, structures which can be having this infection with MTB bacilli can be lymph nodes as it is given in this MCQ or it can be joints or it can be even bones. So the next possibility is orifacial tuberculosis in which through the saliva or through the fecal matter, the perioral and perianal skin is going to be infected with the MTB bacilli. And finally, we have lupus vulgaris, which is a very peculiar in which because the lupus vulgaris can be both exogenous as well as endogenous. So in the endogenous, the lupus vulgaris, uh, is the, which is the most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis, happens due to the MTB bacilli spreading through the bloodstream. And finally, tuberculates, we have three types like in scrofulosorum, papillonecrotic tuberculid and erythema enteritema buzzin. All of these are hypersensitivity reactions to MTB bacilli. So I hope now you can understand why scrofuloderma is the answer. So this is our tomorrow's MCQ. If you know the answer for this question, please leave your answer in the comment section. And I hope these small short videos are helping you. If so, please do hit that like button. Thank you so much. Sarvam Sri Krishna from Sarvajana Sukhino Bhavantu.